Hey guys, I hope everyone is doing well, especially in this pandemic mess that's going on. Um, so today for Mo Musume, I want to show off Samurai Warriors 1. I'm really excited to show it to you guys because for one, I remember first, first buying it. Well, actually my father bought it for me. Uh... <laughs> Um, I first played it, and I remember a long time ago, back in 2004, I played it. I loved the game so much. Uh, the way how it looked, it just had that, like, that somewhat dark feeling uh, versus, like, how it is today. It's okay, but other times it's like, it could be a little cringe-worthy. Well, a little cringe and irritating, but back, but back in the day, it was so fun to play. It really was. Um, oh, give me one second. No, no, we don't want to see Okuni. She got like the worst move set on here. Yes, I'm bashing Okuni. <laughs> it's pretty much that. That's how I'm excited I am right now. Um, before we start. I put the difficulty on chaos because I know it's it's been a minute, but at the same time I said, you know, let me just you know do it. So so pretty much um we're gonna do story mode. Uh, just. Pretty much like gameplay story mode at the moment. Um, if any, well, score out ask. If anybody might be interested in seeing an actual story mode game, you know, the actual story mode gameplay and all. Uh, hopefully one day or sometime next. Well, maybe next time I can do actual like the actual story. If it's not for the character I'm about to pick, it could be for any one of these, any of these wonderful characters. Okay, so today I'll be playing as Hanzo Hattori. I'm so, uh, like I said, I'm excited to play as him because, for like, really three reasons. One, this costume. I fell in. I kid you not, I fell in love with this costume back in the day. I really did. Because it just showed, the costume shows so much unique, you know, the uniqueness of it. And uh, and it was fun to play as Hanzo as well. Um, to we'll be starting off at uh, OK Hazama. I must be the one to kill you. If you are to fall here, I'll... Feel cheated. No? Nobunaga may seize the day. The shadow awaits. 
So yeah, the like the way how the cutscene presents itself is to show how how serious it was, and I that's what I would love to see back in the in the Samurai Warriors games. You know, have a little seriousness to it. The cutscenes, um, like the color with it, the the I guess pretty much like everything. <laughs> and to be honest, that's my opinion, and I'm sticking with it. Um, so with the cutscene, just two things I, I just want to point out. Now, for the when you hear the um, the singing of Nobunaga, that wasn't his English voice actor singing. That was the actual Japanese one that was singing. Because if you play so many of the of the current Samurai Wars 4 and and Spirit of Sonda games in Japanese, you would you would write in in there. Well, no, that would be um, Nobunaga, Nobunaga's Japanese voice actor. To the part when Nobunaga and No we had their moment, and then he said, "Feel cheated." No, I I always laugh at that because on here it's No, but it's with the H. But when he said No, it's just N O. <laughs> All right, so. So pretty much I'm um, under Tokugawa. So we got Ieyasu and Hanzo together. Now if you if you notice that with like if you were to play as the older force, forces, it would only be Oda versus Imagawa. But since now I'm playing with Tokugawa, aka well Hanzo, it's not only is Tokugawa but it's Imagawa and also Oda. So pretty much you've done a you know, it's three, a three battle, a three, a three force battle here, and back in the day, that was another thing I really love about this game. You can do these kinds of battles because in the old Dance Warriors games, you never done it, except for six. I know they did it for Lu Bu's story. But yeah, let's go with um, Imagawa. So we got Yoshimoto and his generics. And he got Nobunaga, he got No Oichi, and a certain generic under under him. He got Hiyoshi, Kasuye. Well, Kasuye was a generic, but in two act cell, he became play. He became playable. And this other generic. All right, let's start. Some time ago, I saw some children having a rock fight. One side vastly outnumbered the other. The outcome of this battle a smaller group. The lesson here is desperation means determination. The future of the Tokugawa is on the line. Though it is the Oda party we are currently It is Lord Yoshimoto that must be defeated. <laughs> Target. Let us use this momentum. So, first thing we have to do is go out there. In Miguel's main camp, so it's we can't go straight forward because if we get detected, then the amp, the surprise attack will end. So you have to go down here. So, like, yeah. So use the ninja path to avoid detection. There is no place a shadow cannot go. 
Oh yeah, and I forgot to tell you the, the third reason. The third reason is Hans is uh, if, if I had to rate uh, Hanzo's Hanzo's English voice actor, um, Samurai Wars 1, 2, and 3, to like worst to best. Um, Samurai Wars 3 will be the worst. This one here, uh, and 2 is such a, like, at times it feels like a tie, but um, if I actually choo really choose one, it'll be, um, it'll be Samurai Wars 1, and then Samurai Wars 2. Um, his Samurai Wars 2 voice actor, Charge! it really shows, like, like, the way how he speaks, it just sounds so dark and evil. Well, no, not evil, just, like, dark and as a ninja. I really like, especially here too. Who goes there? <laughs> Minion of darkness, know you that I am Ieyasu's lord. What is it that you will gain from my death? I have but one master. My desire is for him to rule. Yukijawa <laughs> assassin? They lost their minds? I don't like how Hans always um, The Tokugawa have a right to claim to the enemy. We must take it before the Uda does. Target eliminated. No, not yet. I don't want to die. It's going to die. It's Hear me, Yoshimoto has been defeated. The other Imagawa officers must be eliminated as well. Tokugawa hereby declare independence. We must wipe out the Imagawa and vanquish the ghost of the past. To eliminate the enemy enemies, we must first cut off their escape route. This momentum. This is like a, this is, this is another thing I like. Uh, take out the reserve cat and then get them labeled like a few seconds and then they come back as allies. And then, like, you get they'll be as your actual troops. That's the thing I like. It's you are like, the in a way, it's like mini recruitment. I like that a lot. Powerful foe. Ain't nobody tell them. Nobody tell them to make my own power drop. But it's okay. Ah! Uh -huh. 
Considering our future relations with Lord Nobunaga, it may be wise to take out all enemy officers. Target eliminated. Let us use this no, momentum. We cast who next? I know, if I'm not mistaken, I know Oichi is going to be in here, and I think you know as well. Yeah, Oichi is in here. We'll take her out. We don't mean for dinner. Don't play with me. Do you seek peace or chaos? Come on. Come on. You are indeed the guardian of the Tokugawa clan. Not now is not the time to fight the Oda. Declaring independence from the Imagawa is our first priority. I know Hideyoshi is down here. I think Noah's down here, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, who's in the camp with? Ow. No, it's okay. Oh. Okay. So I guess Oda decides to take the last guy out that is the one I just passed. So. Well, I wanted to do more, <laughs> but but the, um, after you defeat um, Yoshimoto, the new objective was if you defeat all of Emigawa's officers, then victory is yours. See, uh, yeah, see, now more E. He was the last one. The one I just passed, and then after that, I think he, Yoshi, and the rest of and the rest of his troops decided to uh, defeat him. So yeah, the game is That's about it. Uh, oh, is he wondering why all of his said uh, 200? Yeah. Years back, I um, put a um, I put cheat on on the game, so that's why it's like that. Yeah, so 
yeah, I did put cheats on on the game a long time ago, and I kind of, I did forget about it. But when I was going through this, the character selection, I noticed like, oh yeah, I did put I did put cheat on this game a while back. So yeah, that that's about it for Hanzo's gameplay um, story. If you got, if anybody wants to see more of Hanzo and his and his story, please, of course, leave a comment down below. Now, if it's not Hanzo and pretty much somebody else from from this game, please just let me know, and then hopefully I can try to work on it and um, as I see what happens. So, anyways, thank y'all for watching. I do have another video that's coming out tomorrow, so please be on the lookout for that. And then afterwards, I will be be working on one last Fusa May video, and then after that, I'll just um, go back to doing normal stuff. I already thought that I was going to get Dynasty Warriors 9 out for Fusa May, but I don't think that's going to happen because of life and work. So pretty much, I'll be working on that, and then hopefully, I can go back to doing Warriors Orochi 4 ultimate and finishing up probably some some last videos and then that's about it but but yeah again thank you all for watching uh, please like comment subscribe and also be safe bye